See this pink blush right here? See this pink blush right here? Look at that pink blush. We're going to be putting that on our under eyes and we're going to test out whether or not this viral TikTok tutorial really works on mature under eyes or any under eyes for that matter. We're going to see whether or not this is the latest and greatest thing or whether or not it just won't work for us. Let's do this video right now. Hi friends, so I actually did not originally hear about this on TikTok. I actually heard about this from Allure Magazine. I subscribe to their emails and read their emails all the time. And one of their editors was talking about doing this and how she would never look back. And I'm like, okay, I haven't even heard about this. So then I had to go research it, find out what's going on. What it is, is everybody is saying they are putting a pink cream blush. This, In this case, it's liquid. You could use, I'm sure, any cream blush that you had that was a little bit more on the pink side. I would choose something that was more of kind of a neutral pink. That's what I've kind of chosen today. This is Happy from the Rare Beauty line. That's what I chose to use today. I'm using it on both sides, but I'm actually trying a drugstore, the NYX uh, Serum Concealer and the Kosas, my beloved Kosas, on the other side to try and test out and see if there's any difference on there. We're gonna test this completely out. We're gonna see how it might work better, might not. I'm definitely gonna let you know what I think of it. I also want to let you know that I do have a numbering system where I will number each product that I'm talking about as I'm talking about them one through however many products there are. You don't have to worry about the name of the product. Just drop, jot down the number that is next to the product and then you can open up the description box and once you do that you will see everything numbered and you can just go to the number and then click on the link if you'd like to shop that way and please remember that those are affiliate links and I do make a small commission when you do that. That helps to support my channel and I do appreciate it. So I'm going to have my eyes and my eyebrows done, but the rest of my makeup won't be done. But without any further ado, let's get into seeing whether or not pink blush works on our under eyes with our concealer. Let's figure this out right now together. So we're going to see how we do with a high end on one side and then a drugstore on another. But I did choose to use the same blush, liquid blush, and that's from Rare Beauty. And this one is called Happy. It's quite pink. It's actually quite, quite pink. So um, I'm going to try and use the very smallest amount possible. If I was to tap that on my eye, it would get way too much too fast. So I'm going to put it on my hand first and get my mirror out. That might help some too. So there's the color of it. Very bright. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand right here. And I'm going to go and stick. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a lot. I would say that since this is such a pigmented blush that you need way less than you think you do. So I, this is the first time me doing this with you guys. I'm hoping that this works out. I just put some in there. It feels really strange to have that there. It's very emollient though. I love that about the liquid blushes, very emollient. So I'm going to just leave that there for a second. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to put on my, this is the NYX Bear With Me serum concealer. I don't know what color this is. I think this is beige. Anyway, I'm going to put some of that on my hand right here a little bit. And I don't know, I don't use this very much, so I don't know how much I need. I'm going to put some right here and I'm just going to lightly, kind of just lightly go over this and just leave it to set up because I know from my past experience that if I go in and I just immediately start blending, everything's going to look weird anyway. So I don't want to do that. And then I'm using my beloved Kosas over on this side over here. And I'm going to just lightly go across that blush and we're going to let it set up. This is my trick is that I always try to do lightly and then let it set. I feel like I have a little bit more Kosas on this side than I do of the NYX, which is really not fair. We need to get it as fair as possible. So I'm just going to put in just a little bit more NYX. I know that seems like a lot, but when I get ready to blend it out, it will be quite a lot less. I'm going to just do my foundation while we're talking about this a little bit. I'm using the Dior foundation. This one is the Skin Glow, the new one, and I'm actually putting some of the matte in with it. I love both of these on their own, but the other day I was thinking, you know, I bet they would be really good together. So I just decided to kind of mix them together and see what I get. Plus, my one color is pretty dark and my one color is pretty 
light so hopefully we'll get a good color seems a little bit light still but we'll go for it so i'm just going to put on my foundation you know the whole premise to actually using the color pink is that it cancels out the blue or it brightens you know whenever you get a pink concealer lots of times that pink will say brightener on it i know that l'oreal age rewind does that so definitely something to think about i don't feel like the concealer is quite set up enough yet i'm going to go in with a bronzer and bronze up my face since i do the perimeter this is laura geller's baked bronzer in face um, one of my very favorites. This isn't quite a contour, but I'm still going to use it in my hairline to warm everything up and kind of recede that high, high, high forehead. I also use it to contour my cheeks and then go into my jawline. All right, so we're going to see if this will work. I'm using a very small dampened beauty sponge. This is from EcoTools. It's their new biodegradable one. And I love this little teeny one. It works so good. So let's start on this side. I always start on the outer part and I try to look up a little bit and I just bounce and blur and do as much blending as I possibly can. And hopefully we will see some magic here. I don't know about this technique i have never tried it before you guys are the first to see me do it so there you have it okay so it's really interesting coverage i feel like i knew that the nyx wasn't quite as full coverage as the kosas but i do feel like it did a good job however i still see this hollow right here on my eyes and the pink would be the color corrector in lieu of any sort of orange so let me uh, just kind of blend this side out with the other side of the sponge and see what happens with a little bit fuller coverage on that. Okay, I have to say that I'm not super sold on it yet, but it could just be that I put most of the pink in here and I didn't put enough of the concealer. So I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit of each concealer on each side and I'm just sticking into those troughs where it you know it gets really dark for me i'm not putting it out anywhere else because i don't want extra because this is all covered up pretty nicely it looks actually really pretty good so let's move on just a little bit let's do a little bit of highlighter as most of you already know i do take my highlighter underneath my blush first so i'm doing the maybelline master chrome today and i'm just going to put that this is such a beaming highlighter but it's going to be so pretty underneath blush I really love it. Don't forget to put a tiny bit of that highlighter right there on that Cupid's bow. I'm going to use my beloved number seven Lift and Luminate powder today. And I'm going to just set in the places where I get quite a bit of break apart. And then I'm going to very lightly just dab around my large pore areas. Okay, so it is. it has sat up a little bit. Let's just go across very lightly, see what we get. Okay, I can see the pink and I kind of like that. I kind of think that it looks good. The pink is actually making this area look a little bit brighter than normal, I feel like anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a light dusting of powder. This is what I had on this powder puff before I started. So I'm just going to very lightly touch underneath there to set it, otherwise it's gonna crease on me. Since we already used that blush, let's just go ahead and use it again. Um, I'm gonna just put it across my hand a little bit there. Well, a lot, I guess, there. And I'm just going to dip into it with my stipple brush, which works so good for any liquid or cream products because you can start out very lightly, which doesn't look so light, but you can blend this like crazy and it works so well with this brush and this blush is really like i talked about it's very pigmented but i think that using the blush in this area and using it underneath this area kind of ties the look together now painted by spencer talks about going up way up almost up underneath the eyes with some of the blush i think that's a great idea because not only are you kind of going where that color has already been but you're also tying your look together a little bit more now i just took what was off the back of my hand and i'm just going all around my face and i like to do this because i like to have 
uh, the flushed look or that pretty bright look about your skin when you just kind of have, you know, a little bit of glow there. Got a little bit too much up there on the top. So we'll just bounce that out with the beauty blender just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. And I really like that. I really think that it's really pretty. I am going to do my liner, my bottom lashes and my lips and I'll be right back. There is the final look on the under eyes. I think this is a great idea, especially if you have olive or warm undertones. Sometimes that peach, because you already have that warm undertone, isn't going to work. So the pink might be really good for you. I'm going to keep trying this for several times, but I think it looks really good under there. And I think that it's something that you might enjoy too, especially if you've struggled with color correctors in the past. Now, I would say... Put that a little bit of pink on there. Dab it out a little bit. That's probably what I would do net instead of what I did where I just put it all together. Dab that pink out a little bit. Let it set for just a couple of seconds and then put your concealer on top of it. I think that that probably would be ideal because that's kind of what I ended up doing in the end where I put a little bit more on the troughs that I have right there. So my friends, I hope that you did enjoy seeing this tutorial and whether or not it's game changing, I guess we will all find out. Thank you so much for tuning in today and please give this video a thumbs up as we say goodbye today. I will throw up another video right here that you may not have seen before. It's one that I've done in the past that's all about concealers and you might not have gotten to see it and it helps you to avoid some mistakes with concealers as well that might be getting your concealer to creasing a little bit. Everybody please have a great day and I will catch you in my very next video. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends.